Hey guys, Klinger here, and we're gonna be talking about the major LMG rebalance. Okay, this is the first version of it. So in the stylist discord, Mar put out a, uh, a survey talking about LMGs, what people thought about them and that he, he wanted them to kind of get rebalanced. So huge survey, a bunch of people filled it out and we have kind of the first update log of changes. So this is gonna be overall, um, I wouldn't say a nerf maybe, maybe I'll have nerf in the title just for clickbait or whatever. <laughs> I wouldn't call it necessarily a nerf, just more uh, fitting for what LMGs are, okay? So, yeah, we're just gonna scroll through everything. General changes. A good handful of LMGs have been toned down in mobility stats to give more reason to using them more often compared to firearms more useful. They are heavy firearms, so they're gonna have a little bit slower mobility, and uh, they're gonna rotate the ammo pool out to uh, some of these LMGs. We'll, we'll talk about them, but fitting like the caliber of the LMG. Okay, so first of all, throughout the LMGs, we're gonna be talking about the Colt LMG. And before I start this, if you're new and haven't hit that sub button, please do. It helps me out a ton, a ton, a ton. It makes me able to get stuff like this out. And uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and comment, YouTube algorithm. The more likes, the more comments, the more it gets recommended. So all that stuff helps, okay? Um, but Colt LMG, first off, they're increasing the min damage to 21. It was originally 20, so only a one damage buff on that. Uh, min damage range increased to 160. It was originally 145. Uh, max range is 60 studs. It was originally 75 studs. You might hear Apollo uh, meow a little bit. He's a little hyper right now, so I'm sorry in advance. But all right, they decreased the walk speed to 12 and a half. It was originally 13. And the aim speed, they decreased to 13. It was originally 14. And uh, pretty much the reasoning behind this is uh, Cole MG, about half of the feedback on this gun is that it's the most generally balanced of all the LMGs. But with some saying that the three shot kill range is a little high, so he lowered the three shot kill range, but increased the four shot kill range. So just a little uh, balance on that, right? Uh, next, we're taking a look at the M60. Um, the M60 is pretty much the most infamous firearm ever in Phantom Force history. It definitely needs more tuning. Based on the feedback, it is extremely strong at range and the suppression. Um, hopefully these changes outlined above will start to fix these core issues and yeah pretty much lowering suppression lowering damage at range and uh lowering range so for the changes m60 uh increased torso multiplier to 1.1 it was originally one it shares the same ammo pool with the uh, battle rifles and dmrs now and it decreased suppression from one and a half or to one and a half it was originally 1.8 so uh Decreased max damage to 39, it was originally 40, and uh, decreased min damage to 24, it was originally 26. They dropped the max range to 100 studs, it was originally 120, and they lowered the walk speed by one, from 12 to 11, okay? Uh, the AUG H-Bar. So the problem with the AUG H-Bar is that it's a laser and it has good damage at range. Always four shots, as long as you hit a body shot. Um, so Mark kind of wanted to make this a laser, but focus on uh, like lowering damage a little bit. So it's gonna have a light. It's gonna be a, it's a lighter LMG, right? But it's gonna have lower damage, but it's gonna be super accurate. First off, increase the bullet speed to uh, 2800. It was originally 2500. Increase the max damage range to 90. It was originally 30. Increased aim speed to 13. It was originally 12. Increased pen to 1.8. It was originally 1.5. Decreased suppression to 0.4. It was originally 0.9. Decreased max damage to 31. It was originally 35. And they decreased uh, torso multiplier to 1. It was originally 1.1. So, yeah, I mean, 4 damage uh, off the max damage. That's going to be uh, a pretty big hit for that. So, we'll have to see how that uh, functions in game. Yeah, next up, we got the MG36. Um, the feedback on the MG36 is that it's generally good, but underpowered and in the middle in performance. Um, so they increased uh, the damage a little bit, okay? So on the stock MG36, the max damage is now 32. It was originally 30. 
The bullet speed is increased to 2700. It was originally 2500 and they decreased suppression to 0.5 instead of 0.9. And for the 300 blackout on the MG36, I said this is a good conversion and it's getting a little bit of a buff as well. So it might be even better. So increase the max damage on the conversion to 36 instead of 34 but they decrease the max range to 30 instead of 45. Moving on to the L86. L86 is, uh, the feedback on it was that it was fairly balanced, but leaning towards a little too strong in terms of suppression. So they increase the muzzle velocity to 3000 instead of 2800. And uh, so hopefully this is uh, not gonna deafen like, cra like those cracking sounds you always hear. Hopefully that will prevent that from happening they increase the equip speed to 12 instead of 10 ammo pool now pools with the uh, the ars and the carbines it decreases suppression to one instead of 1.8 decrease the walk speed to 12 and a half instead of 13 decrease the aim speed to 12 instead of 13 so as you can see with some of these lmgs the biggest thing they're doing is getting rid of uh the suppression a lot of them are getting hit with suppression so that's probably one of the biggest things with lmgs um my my perspective so it's good to see that and uh yeah so moving on to the rpk there's not a whole lot to it but so pretty much the uh the reload is gonna have to be balanced a little bit because it's not the same speed as the base gun but they increase the bullet speed to 2450 it was originally 2300 it shares the ammo pool with the ARs and the carbines as well, and they decrease the suppression to 1 instead of 1.4. There wasn't really a huge problem with the RPK, so it didn't really change a whole lot. Moving on to the Scar Hammer, however, there's a lot of stuff with the Scar Hammer, okay? So this is going to be a big, chunky one. Um, but Mar said he hasn't really taken a look at the Scar Hammer stats until recently, didn't really notice how powerful it was. It's powerful at all ranges, and uh, these changes should shift it to more heavier playstyle. Focusing a little on close range while still being able to do something from afar. So, they increase the bullet speed to 2600 instead of 2500. Increase the aim speed to 12.75 instead of 12. Increase the torso multi to 1.15 instead of 1.1. Increase walk speed to 12 and a quarter instead of 12. It shares the ammo pool with the ARs and carbines. And decrease suppression to 0.8 instead of 1.1. Decrease min damage to 21 instead of 23. Decrease max range, like max damage range to 80 studs instead of 110. And decreased min damage range to 170 studs instead of 180. 9 mil conversion. A lot of people use the 9 mil conversion. Um, getting nerfed a little bit. Uh, they decrease the bullet speed to 2100 instead of 2000 and decrease the max damage range to 60 studs instead of 80 studs. RPK 74. Mar said the reload speed of this gun was identical to uh, the AR version, but in the feedback it showed it to be quite balanced, but he decided to throw in a couple minor tweaks to help separate it from the regular RPK. For the RPK uh, 74, he increased the walk speed to 12 and a half instead of 12. Increase the bullet speed to 2600 instead of 2500. Shares the same ammo pool with ARs carbines. Uh, decrease aim speed to 12 and a half instead of 13. Increased uh, reload time to about 2.8 seconds instead of 2.5 seconds. Increased empty reload time to 3.8 instead of 3.2. So fix the reload, add a couple little minor tweaks here and there. So almost done guys. This is a beefy video, I know. So moving on, MG3. Ammo pool now shared with BRs and DMRs. Decrease suppression to 1.6 instead of 1.8. Reduce pen to 2 instead of 2.5. Uh, reduced walk speed to 11 instead of 12. Not a whole lot with MG3. I was actually, I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought they were going to do more with that, but suppression is a big one, so they turned it down a little bit. And the HK21 BR and DMRs uh, ammo pool that's shared with that. Decrease min damage to 27 instead of 29. And they reduce walk speed to 11 and a half instead of 12. Yeah, guys, that's kind of pretty much it as far as LMGs go, okay? I would say overall a suppression nerf on the LMGs and a mobility nerf. But some of them have better range, some have better stats. Um, a lot of just 
handful of changes on this. So I'm excited to see how this plays out. We'll see how good or bad or ugly these LMGs are in the future. But yeah, pretty much that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We stream on Twitch six days a week and we have a Discord. Link to that will be in the description if you want to check it out. But hey, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you later. Peace. Can you say